Hello and a very warm welcome to LMT Royal YouTube channel. This has been an extraordinary year for everybody for many different reasons. And what we know is that some kind of change is afoot. We at Water Bear Network have now made a technological effort to unite all the different people in all the many pockets of the world who are working in the field trying to make a difference. To face the great environmental challenges ahead, our entire global community is shifting gears. We have to work faster. We have to lean in more. And one of the most prominent members of this global community is Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, who is one of the most dynamic, I, I would just say hands-on, naturalists and conservationists we know of. I'm therefore very, very honored and very happy to have you here, Prince Harry. Uh, welcome. Thanks, Ellen. Hi, Sam. Hi, Ellen. Very nice to see you guys. Lovely to see you. Prince Harry, how has your year been? It's been a universally tough year for everybody. You know, someone said to me right at the beginning of, uh, of the pandemic, it's almost as though Mother Nature has sent us to our rooms for bad behavior, um, to really take a moment and think about what we've done. It certainly reminded me, as, as it has probably reminded all of us, how interconnected we all are, not, as, not just as people, but through nature. We take so much from her, um, but we rarely give anything back. Prince Harry, you're well known for your passion about nature and you even call her she. It's a very, very personal thing to you. Did you have an epiphany one day? Did you have an experience one day that made you want to be so close to nature? Or have you actually always been that way? Um, I think I've always been that way. You know, being, being in nature is the most healing, healing part of life. And I think I truly believe that that's one reason why it's there. But the moment you become a father, um, everything really does change because then you start to realize, well, what is, what is the point in bringing a, a new person into this world when they get to your age and, there's, and, and, and it's on fire? Yeah, we can't steal their future. We really can't. That's not the role. That's not the job we're here for. But I, I've always believed that hopefully we can leave the world in a better place than when we found it. So I think we really need to take a moment and think, well, how do we get what we need and, 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 and have our sort of our, our desire fulfilled without taking from you know, our children and, and, and generations to come? I think that's the pivotal question. I think our entire community would like to know from you, what could you do, could we do, to really move the needle and to do it in time to avert the worst? Well, for me, it's about putting the do's behind the says. Um, and, that is, and that is something which um, Water Bear is, is, is doing, is going to be doing. There are so many documentaries that are happening. That I can always imagine whether it's an individual, couples, families, whatever it is, sitting there watching this stuff and going, okay, you've now just made me more aware of a, of a, of a, of a global issue. Now I'm quite depressed. I'm going to go and make myself a meal and probably forget about it. Whereas with water, with water bed now, to have all that content in one place, to be able to have that option at the end as, as a call to action, because people want to know, how can I make a difference? How can I help? And I really am energized and, and full of optimism now to know that we have the tools, we have the, the, the mindset to be able to make this change. And that was one of the reasons why, uh, why we started up Travelist, because for me, again, it's about the prosperity of people and communities all over the world. And that's also very much something that you're known to be doing at African Parks. You're very, very hands-on there, aren't you? Well, African Parks to me is, a, is an amazing organization. And what really connected me to them was not just the organization, but the people that work within the organization. For me, it's again, part, back to, back to Travelist in the way that it's all about communities and it's all about people. If the very people that live on the outside of these spaces are not seeing a direct benefit in an improvement in their life by protecting the animals and the land, well, then they're going to become part of the problem rather than part, be part of the solution. And I think that's where African Parks really, really gets it and excels. People who live in those parts of the world are so incredibly desperate. And until we can provide enough food and enough resource for them, 
I think these, these problems will continue. So I think another part of this water bed um, uh, element is we need to be able to educate those living in these spaces, those working and operating on the ground. And to know that there's over 80 NGOs that have signed up to be part of Water Bear is amazing because it's really hard to do that. I watched some of the images of you and the Duchess, you know, interacting with those communities on that tour and dancing and just looking like you were just having such a wonderful time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dan dan dancing when all the cameras are <laughs> is like my idea of hell. You yeah. can't help it. I hate like I'm sitting there on the chair or I'm trying to trying to get my work my way through through the people, through, through the people. and they grab your hand and say let's dance and then my wife starts dancing and then it's like okay here we go da, 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 da. And I know that people are gonna laugh at me I thought you were a very good dancer though by the way Prince Harry <laughs> Prince Harry <laughs> I, haven't seen, I haven't seen you dance but the day that I do I will give you feedback <laughs> Prince Harry it's been so inspiring as a fellow conservationist to you know watch your really hands-on approach as president of, of African Parks but you mentioned the a connection to land there. What is it about Africa that kind of so inspires you? I travel all over the world and anyone that's, 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 that's visited Africa says the same thing. They said, I don't know what it is, but there's something in the air or that, that, that ends up running in your blood. And no matter what experience you have, it just pulls you back and you want to be back there again. Um, I first traveled there when I was 12, 13 years old, uh, straight after I lost, um, after I lost my mum, And the sense of escapism and space that this continent of Africa afforded me is something that I will be eternally grateful for. The smiles and the enjoyment and the energy of life that these communities have, it's so, it's so different from the way that everybody over here lives. I just think it's, I just think it's really powerful. It really is. And, and maybe my question is, you know, how do we open up opportunities for more people to kind of experience what you experienced there? You know, how do we open up these places to, to a wider audience? Well, it's storytelling, right? You know, it has to be. Um, and I think, again, what you guys are doing on Water Bear is exactly that. Once you are educated or made aware of the problems, everyone becomes passionate about that. But especially amongst the younger generation, you need to know how to channel that passion and where to put it where to put that energy. Otherwise, you're sitting there passionate about what you see and you want to fix it, but without actually being part of something. Um, and when it comes to nature, the other beauty of it is that it makes you realize how small we are and how we are part of something so much bigger. My final question to you, Prince Harry, would be, how do you think that storytelling can help to drive action? I think there's a desire and a willingness and a curiosity um, when it comes to storytelling. Um, but it also makes us as individuals feel part of something much bigger. And I think that's what it's all about. Every single raindrop that falls from the sky relieves the parched ground. What if every single one of us was a raindrop? And if every single one of us cared, which we do, because we have to care, because at the end of the day, nature is our life source. But we've got to, got to be clever and find a way to be able to uplift and inspire in that education and awareness. But again, as I've said before, and as you guys will fully well know, you can't uplift, educate and inspire unless there is a form of action that follows. And that, I think, is, that, is the key, which is why water bears is so important. As you say, anyone can do something and you yeah. just need to do whatever there is in your comfort zone, we just want to bring more of this closer. Mm. Yeah. So people can choose. They can have a look at Water Bear and they mm. can say, gosh, I just discovered I really love giraffes or yeah. I just fell in love with rhinos. I'm going to dedicate myself to study them, learn about them, work with this NGO, learn about these translocations or volunteer in a, in a game reserve. That's our dream. That's our dream. And I think, um, Prince Harry, that you share that dream. I, I felt that from the very first time that we spoke. And we're very moved by that. And we're very grateful for your passion because the world will need it and our community will need it. So thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell, so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.